we are back <laughs> with your girl Kiki <laughs> and her auntie. Hey, you guys. This how are you? This is my beautiful auntie Hara. Hi. Um, follow her Instagram. She is a vegan chef. Yes. I know she looks like a model, right? <laughs> um, definitely check her out. And she locally sells food. My uncle's shop, the Healthy Hippie, the 154 healthy. Elizabeth Avenue. You can come and get the greatest vegan food you've ever tasted in your life. I'm, I kid you not. Yes. I, it runs in the family. Oh like my God. the f niece is bomb, Magnifique. right? <laughs> yeah, she makes more home style food and he makes right. more fast food style. Right. And uh, but it's all vegan. There's no meat. It's mm -hmm. not processed. No non-GMO. All that right. great stuff. All That's why she looks food. so good. Thank you. Yo, well, you wouldn't even know how old she is. Y'all. So. Oh God, y'all. Y'all. You don't. You don't want that. I mean, I'm not ancient. She's not ancient, but she. Old, she... <laughs> right. But you get it. You get it. You right. feel the vibe. This is my niece, and she's. 21, One, so yes. that tells you something about okay. it. Okay. Okay. That plant blaze life. Okay, <laughs> yes, that plant blaze life. So not necessarily one place, but uh, we could have been earlier. But you know what? It's okay. And um, we're going to see the photograph. New York premiere again. Um, it's not going to be in the same place as the last video that I had. So we're excited. Um, I pray, pray, pray we get to see Issa Rae and the other guy. I'm sorry. I don't know his name. But he's in a lot of stuff. I'm excited about the movie because it's like, you know, black love right. and everything. What do you feel about it? Right. You want to see it, right? I would love to see it. It looks like it takes me back. It's okay, so now I'm telling my age, you guys. Like, mm -hmm. it was movies, like black love movies, like Love Jones and all of that. It yeah. gives me the vibe of those movies. Check out Love Jones. It's like back from like the early, early 2000s, but mm -hmm. this movie seems like it might be a newer version of like a Love Jones film. So mm -hmm. I'm so excited to see it. And I love Easter Ray as well. And she's the one that got me hooked on Easter Ray. Like my niece keeps me, <laughs> you know, in the, yes, in the loop. loop. <laughs> We're gonna catch up with y'all. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye. We are on our way, y'all. We finally made it, y'all! If this big old bus would get out the way so we could show y'all the view, honey! <laughs> we are in the north, y'all! That'll be for a thumbnail. So, we're about to go to this movie fair, and we're probably gonna get something to eat after. Maybe go out. So, we're gonna see. So, we'll be back. <laughs> we're just going to check in with you guys. Yes, Horace says see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought it was Nah, <laughs> Nah. <laughs> I'm hard trying to sneak back up to the front. Yeah, we're gonna, we're watch us. We're going to make our way to the front, you guys. She's Wait, you got to touch you guys. Where are we? Now we're just going to be out here just waiting and doing things that we need to do. Okay, so while we're waiting in line, we decided that we're gonna do Would You Rather. Would you rather eat boogers or lick a toenail? Lick a toenail. Okay. That's what I heard. Okay. We're back. We're back. So, would you rather see your ex out in public while you're looking a hot mess? I mean, like, really just look, looking like you're just doing anything, like to go to Walmart, or would you rather see your crush? Out while you're gonna hot mess. Which one? Ex or crush? Ooh, that's tough. Right? <laughs> that is so tough because your ex, you try to show that's him true. like. Yo, he ain't messing with no average chick. Pop, pop. He got Nikki. He <laughs> yeah, like I look good. I done moved on. <laughs> right, right, right. But then with your crush, of course you don't want your crush to see you look like a hot mess, but it's like I look like this sometimes. <laughs> Fuck him. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
crazy. <laughs> my friend. Not all that. He can't know you be looking crazy all that. Cara, this is what I want to talk about. Because you know what? Looks are not even always for men. It's for us. Like, you know, like we do makeup and stuff like that. How right. some men don't like makeup. Right. It's Correct. not for y'all. It's for us, right? Exactly. I don't think a lot of you guys knew that. Women yeah. love to feel beautiful. We like to feel pretty. It has nothing to do with you a lot of times. It's just to make us feel Exactly. Right? Exactly. That's why we get dressed up. That's where we get cute. Because it's how you feel when you know you look your best. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. Of course, we know we're beautiful regardless. Right. But it's about how you feel in the moment. Exactly. So, Always know that. We don't have to do that. We don't do this just for me. Yeah, we don't do this just for me. Yes. <laughs> and my auntie is looking so beautiful tonight. Thank you. I love this hair. I remember with thank you so much. You know, you guys, this hair was done by her. Let me tell you something. She is such a talented young woman. She is like the jack of all trades. Not only is she you're welcome, not only is she beautiful, she is I mean she she has so many things she's good at. Like she can do hair, you're welcome, she can do nails, she's very inspiring. I am so proud of her and the woman she's become. Okay, let me stop going and tell me she's you're welcome. I remember when she was a little little girl, she was like three years old, she used to terrorize me. Oh yeah, that's what to say. You have to Terrorize me. I used to be screaming for my mom. Mom, can you get her, please? Oh, she would be in the room tearing up oh, papers and poems I wrote. And <laughs> she did a lot. You can leave her in the room. Her, so she wrote all over the walls and crayons, scribbled, scribbled all over white walls. I mean, but now, now I can't get enough of her. Yeah. <laughs> but when she was younger, oh my God, mom, she's take scared. her, get her. She said I used to be jumping out <laughs> around the corner. She would scare the hell out of me because I was always such a scary person. But she would scare the hell out of me. I'd be coming out the bathroom and here's this little, ah! She got a kick out of it. Like, she got a kick of, oh. I just see how much we have grown. Yes. Right? Look at us now, living our best. Best, best life. life. My auntie slash best friend. Oh, yeah. Auntie slash best friend. <laughs> Hacker, my amazing producer, James Lopez. behind the folks. We thank you guys for coming out. This means everything to us. None of this would be possible without Universal Studios, okay? Let's give it up to that studio. Yes. Here's profit margins in the movie business. They're so razor thin. And when you think about theatrical movies, if they're not comic book heroes or, or sci-fi in them, they're not winning at the box office. This studio has constantly supported us and supported our vision to bring imagery that we do not see enough of to the big screen. That cannot be taken lightly. So thank you. Marketing team in the business, period, okay? Have y'all heard about this movie? Have you seen the ads? Have you seen those yes. people in those ads? Yes. Thank you yes. to Dwight Keynes. Thank you to Fabian Castro. Thank you to John Kiss. Those are just a few people of an amazing team. I just want to say thank you to the Universal Marketing Team because it is so hard. It's so hard to get movies out. But you know why we can win? We can win because of folks like you, okay? I don't care what else is coming out. I don't care what other people are doing, how much money they're spending. If you enjoy this film and you go out and you talk about a film like this, we will see more films like this. Yes. James Lopez and I have wanted to do a love story for a while. And we wanted to figure out how do we do it, a movie that brings back the feelings of some of the classic mm. black love stories that we right. don't have enough of. Yes. Well, we know that if you want to get something done, you move out of the way and you let a black woman do it. Okay. <laughs> started talking about this movie like five years ago um, and now it's here 
uh, and we drive around LA with all the billboards. We have 125th at the bill. Thank you, Dwight. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just want to thank you for believing in this film and sticking with it. James Lopez, I know you believed in this film from the start. Heather, thank you for being there throughout the whole production. Um, you know, I want to thank Universal. Films like this don't get made, and they took a chance on this film. So thank you to Peter Kramer and Donna Lang Lee and Ron Myers and Sarah Scott, and thank you for being here along the way. Thank you for Mike Noblock for this really big music budget that you're about to hear. <laughs>